Good afternoon, students. Today we are going to discuss Appam and LIC's laboratory, 18 EEL 48, by Professor Venila D A and Professor Ramya K. And uh, experiment number two: design and realize to analyze the frequency response of an Appam under inverting and non-inverting configuration for a given gain. Now today we are going to discuss Appam as a non-inverting amplifier gain. to design and implement a non inverting amplifier using opam now this is the circuit diagram of non inverting amplifier so here non inverting amplifier means here we are giving input at the non inverting terminal nothing but which is pin number 3 and uh, your pin number 2 uh, and between pin number 6 and 2 we are providing the negative feedback at pin number 7 we are giving plus vcc and pin number 4 we are giving minus vee which is 12 volt and output will be Are taken at pin number six. Okay. Now this is the design of your non-inverting amplifier. Let the gain of the op-amp will be two. Uh, here we know that uh, the gain of the non-inverting amplifier is one plus R F divided by R one. So here R F divided by R one will be is equal to two minus one, so which is one. So the gain of the op-amp will be one. So we are going to choose the R one and R F value will be one. Uh, you know the output voltage AV into VI, so we are going to choose the input voltage 2 volt peak to peak, so you will get the output voltage 4 volts. So this is the procedure. Connect the circuit diagram as shown in the uh, circuit. We are going to apply plus or minus 12 volts from the DC or PS. Apply AC from the function generator peak to peak 2 volts or 1 volt uh, with the frequency 1 kilohertz. And obtain the output from the CRO. Measure the output voltages V naught and check the gain, which is equal to two. Now keep the input amplitude constant, continuously varying the frequency from 50 hertz to 1 megahertz, and tabulate the output values in the tabular column. And then draw the frequency response for the obtained values, uh, frequency response curve of gain versus frequency. Now this is the expected output waveforms. Your both inputs are in phase. There is no phase shift because the input is given at plus terminal. Now I am going to play the practical demonstration video. Please watch the video. As for the circuit diagram, the, I have given the connections. You know, Non-inverting amplifier using OPA. The feedback resistance I am using one kilo ohm, and the input resistance also one. And here I have given the input at pin number three. So this uh, this is nothing but your function generator. This is RPS and this is CRO. Here uh, via function generator I have given the input at uh, pin number three. Uh, since it is a non-inverting amplifier, we have to give input at the non-inverting terminal. And at plus seven, I have given VCC, and four I have given minus uh, VE. That is 12 volts. 12 volts I have given. And the input to view the input in the CRO, I have taken uh, the channel one. The channel one uh, positive terminal will be connected at uh, pin number three. And uh, channel two uh, to view the output, I have taken channel two. The positive terminal will be taken, and it is connected at pin number six. Okay. Now here I have shown the input. Okay. So this is the input. I have uh, kept the frequency one uh, kilohertz. One kilohertz I have kept, and. Uh,